I haven't personally heard from him, but I did hear from somebody that says he's, he's okay. Um, time to find out about Ernie Shale. Have you heard? Huh? Probably over 100 people's calendar messaged me, so they did find him. That's what I heard, is that they found him. Because that's what I heard, and then I heard they did. Okay. I think they found him. I don't know what happened. I thought he was on Facebook. Yeah, right. Around no or something like that. Yeah. Right. I read it. Well, you know how he is. I don't know. So, it is what it is. But they said he, they found an example of fire. I don't know how free that is. Yeah. So, according to a, an official, official, a police officer, he says that Ernie has been found and Ernie was, Ernie was okay. He was having a bad spell. And he was in Tampa. So he says Ernie's okay. Yeah, I say. Again, I apologize. That's okay. Um, um it, so it, do you have like an area of where this yes. happened or where you, what the area you guys called? Or so, we, yeah, we were able to track him at 4201 Hillsboro Avenue in Tampa. I was paying attention to the update um, that you guys have on online, and I did see a mental health patient check at 7700 west hillsboro so i'm not sure if he ended up walking that far but he was barefoot name ernest mack shell all right give me one second let me see what i can find okay did you talk to us or did you talk to tampa police department because the first address he gave me would be tampa um, I believe she called the sheriff's department because we're from the state of Michigan and we don't really understand the makeup and whose jurisdiction it would have been. Is there maybe a number, if you don't have it on your logs, for me to call another area? Give me one second, I'm trying to... I just know, like, in our state, the county handles dispatch for every township, city, so... Yeah, if you called us, it would have came to us first if you called Hillsborough County, and then it, it would we would have had the chance for you somewhere. Is there a number um, to Tampa PD or dis Tampa Dispatch? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hold on, just, okay. Number. What is that? They have a non-emergency number. I, I'm sorry. Say that one more time, sir. They have a non-emergency okay. number. Okay, what's that? It's going to be 813-231-6130. Okay, I will call them. Thank you so much for your help. Okay, no problem. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Calling the Tampa Police Department. This line is recorded. An operator will be with you as quickly as possible. Gracias por llamar el Departamento de Policía de Tampa. Esta línea está grabada. Una operadora estará con usted lo más antes posible. Come here. Operator 70, how may I assist you? Hi, my name is Nicole. I was calling to get an update on a welfare check that was called in, I want to say, a few hours ago regarding one of our friends. Um, we He's from the state of Kentucky in the midst of some psychosis, somehow ended up in Tampa. Um, it was called in from the area that we found him on Hillsboro Avenue in Tampa. And I just wanted to know, yeah, just, um, it, it would have been 4301 or 4201 because he was at the Marathon and the Zaxby's, West Hillsboro Avenue. Um, the name would have been Ernest Mack Shell, date of birth 123179. Thank you. So, based 
off of what I, how did you guys come up with this uh, scenario? So he, whenever he has these psychotic episodes, he live streams them on YouTube. Um, this has happened in the state of Florida, Georgia, Kentucky, and New York. Um, whenever he has like a psychotic break, he ends up in another state. Um, and so it took us like two hours to figure out where he was based on what was shown in his live. Um, one of his acquaintances that was also watching, uh, made the call in because he didn't have any shoes. He had a goose egg on his head. So we're not sure if he had been assaulted. So she had called that in to find him. Cause he so, used, he, I mean, he, go ahead. I just usually like one of us calls it in to where we locate him because it requires an emergency department evaluation uh, to stabilize him from a mental health standpoint. So I'm just calling to verify if he was located, if he did get transported to a hospital. Um, that's it because he has not been active on any social media since. So we can. I'm sorry, what's that? They're supposed to call you guys and let you know their findings of these kind of calls. Okay. But it looks like we were we were unable to locate at the time. Okay. Um, they looks like they checked with the Zachary's and the Zachary's and the workers. They okay. They did not somebody that matched that description. Or <sighs> All right. All right. Thank but you. I just... We, have, we, were, we never came in contact with him. Never came in contact with him? Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, Thank you so much. the way it looks. All right. Thank you so much. And I don't know if you can put a note by his name in the event that an officer may come into contact with him within the next 24 hours. He is not armed. He is not dangerous. He does have a chronic medical condition that requires regular blood transfusions. Um, he has a lot of PTSD and I don't want to see him injured because he is a nonviolent individual. Gotcha. I mean, I, we can, I know you can only do your best. That. Yeah, we can notate it. I mean, like yeah. I said, the only thing is, we, we for, for your call, like, the, way the call that you were talking about here, they just okay. never came in contact. Okay, all right. Thank you so much for the update. I appreciate your help. You're welcome. You're all right, welcome. have a great day. Bye-bye. I'm so fucking sick of these trolls and these people starting shit and he's affected by it. It's sad how they want to destroy his life like this. I get that he wants the drama to stop, but this isn't the way to do it. Like all those fucking people in your chat to try to trigger you on a fucking daily basis, pretend to be nice to your face and then stab you right in the fucking back. Every day I watch this. I actually think it's a combination of a lot of things that triggered this. This time. The shit with Tina, the shit that Nicolina and Jimbo and them are fucking doing. And the argument between his own people that he cares about. He's stuck in the middle of that shit. Why put him in that position? And yes, I'm guilty too. But why put him in that position? Because I could have just left it alone. But where's his fucking shoe? What the hell happened to him? Yeah, his pants were wet. He had one shoe on. And his foot looked like it was a little frostbitten. I mean... <laughs> Behind green eyes, you only tried to locate him to get him arrested. You fuck off too. Get the fuck out of my chat, bitch. Get out of my chat. What do the Tigers do? Well, they help him a lot. We help him a lot. said police department but i gave him the address right away and um okay. and let him know that you know he was just kind of doing circles there he was he walked did you give him like huh? did you give him the history yes yes 
I okay. told him about his brother. I let them know that um, he's not going to like stop or pull over or whatever for them. But it's not because he's you know being defiant. He's just terrified, and that he's terrified of the guns and his brother. And I told him about his brother, and that he would possibly say Shelby Shell is going to shoot me. So I told him who Shelby Shell was. Um, I just didn't want them to do like all like beat him down, you know, or anything like that. So, um, but yeah, they he know they they have the address. I just let him know that he was in both um, stores, and that he's just looking for water. And I let him know that we've watched him do this multiple times each time he looks for water each time he's wandering the road you know he, you know i, I just kind of let him know everything
hit by a car. Yeah, I can go to current time.